Hi, I'm Greg Lang, Michigan State University. We're down at the Southwest Michigan Research and Extension Center looking at cherries on very precocious dwarfing and semi-dwarfing rootstocks, Gisela 5, Gisela 12, sometimes Gisela 6. Lynn Long has talked about this tree and the nice structure, the balance in the branches, the conical shape, and so I'd like to share with you a little bit about how we developed this tree to get that balance at this stage. This tree was uh, four years old this past year. We're going into the fifth year then. The tree was planted as a whip from the nursery. Not a very strong, not a very large caliper whip. And we just let it develop side branches where it would the first year so that it established a strong root system. And we, let the, we didn't worry about the top structure. The second year, prior to bud break, we came in and removed any side branches off that whip. So we essentially re-whipped it a second time. It had a very strong root system at that point. It had no challenges in uh, unbalanced vigor at the top since we took off all the side branches. And then we did bud removal where we would select a bud, remove several buds, select a bud, remove several buds, select a bud, so that we would leave very specific locations around the tree for branches to emerge. Where we had removed a branch, we had stubbed those branches back to a lower bud that would regrow out and replace that branch. The purpose of this then was to develop a strong trunk and a strong root system before any side branches came out in the second year. And on average in this orchard, we'd had about 20 to 25 side branches emerge on every tree. Each of those side branches then were exactly the same age. They were at least a year to two years behind the, vi the vigor of the trunk. And so it gave us this nice balance that Lynn discussed and has given us a uh, very uniform population of fruit buds to manage. We don't have older branches in the bottom, middle branches here um, that uh, are medium vigor. Um, we have a nice hierarchy of young uh, small caliper wood and then a very large population of pretty even wood of similar caliper. So we established this very even series of scaffolds. We've thinned a few of those out we made the occasional mistake. You never make a tree perfect, as Lynn pointed out, the stronger branch with an upright uh, angle. But the other thing that was important that we did in that first year of developing these 15 to 20 lateral branches was coming in with closed pins and closed pinning each of these branches to establish the nice flat angles. That's important not only for the structure of the tree, but here in Michigan in the Great Lakes region, we're very concerned about bacterial canker. And when you have an acute angle to a, a lateral branch coming out of the trunk, you have a much higher probability of developing bacterial canker. So the closed pinning is a very valuable technique. It's a fair amount of time at the very beginning, but it establishes your structure of these branches for the rest of the life of the tree, as well as lowers the probability of getting bacterial canker infections in the tree. Uh, we'll see that we'll fruit these branches very nicely this coming year. We've got a smaller amount of fruit on these branches, and then you can see the new branches that developed last year will maintain fruit only along the, uh, the main central leader of the tree. So we also have a nice hierarchy of where the crop is going to be in the future. Now when we, before we start to fruit next spring, we'll come in and we'll do some, some detailed pruning. We may select out a couple branches that we really don't need. We may look for lower spurs that we don't need and eliminate those so that we have thinned the crop down. Um, and any branches that we might have that were pendant that would grow poor quality fruit growing downward, we would remove those at that time prior to bud break. You can see this tree doesn't have many of those because we've done a good job of scouting for sunlight during the growth of this tree in the growing season. Not only do we scout for insects or scout for diseases, but we advocate coming through the orchard periodically in the growing season, looking for areas where there is light or where there are upright branches that are causing shade or pendant branches that will cause shade to the, those below. And you can come out and break those out during the growing season. And when you get to dormant, then you see a pretty nice shaped tree.